Hi, good afternoon everyone. Uh, I hope you can hear me well. Um, first of all, thank you so much for joining our webinar, How to Find Your Dream Job Via Academic Transfer. Um, it's good to have you all here and I think some people will still join us uh, in the coming minutes, uh, but I will start uh, now because um, I would love to give you a lot of information in only 30 minutes. Um, during this webinar, I will give you practical tips on how to find your job in research in the Netherlands. Uh, that's our focus. Um, but who am I? Uh, let me introduce uh, myself. My name is Els van der Borgt. I'm working as a communication advisor at Academic Transfer. And I do this for about five years now. And what I love most about my job is helping people finding their career. And I do so by creating interesting content. So I am re really happy to host this webinar for you today. Before we start, I'm excited to know from where you are joining us today. So I will run some polls uh, during the webinar and we will use the tool Mentimeter to gather your answers. So um, let's change. Um, can you go to um, menti.com? Uh, perhaps the easiest way is by using your phone or another device. Um, you can see the, the website and the code you need to uh, use. Uh, it's menti.com and the code is uh, 9025708. And let us know in which country you are right now. So. I'm curious to see how international our group is uh, today. And maybe we have uh, all continents uh, present. So that's always uh, nice to see. United States, South Africa, Turkey, the Netherlands, of course. Answers are still coming in. It's, this question is also to get used uh, to use a Mentimeter. So I will ask, I think, four more questions uh, during the webinar to keep you uh, engaged as well. Um, India, oh, great to see uh, that we have so much uh, nationalities uh, here. Um, I will change back to the presentation. Um, now I have an idea where you are located, but I myself, I am in Utrecht in the Netherlands at the moment um, at the academic transfer office. And I would like to give you a short introduction about our company. Um, we are the job board for a career in research and higher education in the Netherlands. Uh, so our platform is for academics, researchers, uh, scientists um, at every career stage and in every sector. Uh, and one of our purposes is to support you in building a scientific career in the Netherlands. We publish thousands of jobs on our website, academictransfer.com. And I think it's good to mention that we are a non-commercial cooperation and the, the 21 organizations uh, that you see here um, are members of our career platform. And those include all 14 Dutch research universities, uh, five university medical centers in the Netherlands, and the top research institutes, uh, the Dutch Research Council, uh, NWO in Dutch, and the Royal Netherlands Academy of Arts and Sciences, the KNAW in Dutch. Um, besides academia and research institutions, uh, other organizations that are looking for researchers, uh, for example, in industry or um, Hogeschole, Universities of Applied Sciences, also post their jobs on our platform. So you have an overview of all jobs for researchers in the Netherlands in one convenient place. And 
it is our goal to establish long-term connections between researchers on the one hand and organizations on, on the other hand. I would like to start with another question for you. How do you search for jobs? Um, tell us about your activities and tactics. What have you tried so far? So let's go to menti.com again. I believe you uh, will see this in the second question now. So menti.com, use the code and um, let us know how do you search for jobs? What have you tried so far? Um, LinkedIn, university websites, yeah, different job boards. We also have email alerts maybe. It's also uh, online platforms, my network, alerts, yes. <clears throat> Transfer, <laughs> yeah. Good to see all your, your answers and thank you for, for sharing. Um, I hope I can add some new ways of, of searching for a job today. Uh, that's my goal, so um, let's continue. This is our agenda. Uh, we will talk about several less common ways of finding a job. Um, I would like to start with some practical preparation tips. Next, I will show you a proactive way of job searching using our CV match tool. And um, I will also show you how you can be found more easily by, by employers. And I will give you the opportunity to meet professors. And finally, I will shortly introduce our career services that can support you in finding uh, your career path. Let's start with your preparation. Although we see a shift in the current labor market towards skill-based hiring, uh, for most academic institutions, your um, CV is still the starting point in the application uh, procedure. Um, so is your CV ready for your next step? Um, your CV should always contain uh, the following uh, details, like your uh, contact details, uh, personal profile or ambition, uh, your employment, education, uh, skills, any additional activities like volunteering or student associations um, and references. Um, these are the CV basics, and I don't think this is uh, new information for you, but let's continue. But if you, if you want to start or proceed a career in research, then you need to add some information to your regular CV. So to make it more academic, you can add a research statement. Um, this is a brief summary of your past and current research, um, the names of supervisors, maybe professors, uh, they know each other, um, also your research methodologies so far and your future in research interests. So um, our blogger, uh, Eva Lansocht, uh, she's a professor at uh, TU Delft. She wrote a blog about how to write such a statement. And you will receive a handout of the presentation, so you get the link of the blog to have a look on it uh, later. Um, but also teaching or administration experience, experience is worth uh, mentioning on your CV. So have you ever supervised students, uh, gave training or courses? Um, maybe you organized some field work uh, or planned a conference, uh, marked paperwork. Um, it's all worth mentioning on your CV because they all imply teaching at, and um, administrative experience. Um, if you achieve to get some funding or if you want an award, this is all important information to highlight on your resume. Um, it goes without saying that if you got some articles published that you give this attention to. Um, if you have a long list of publications, we advise you to mention your top five publications and to separate a full overview from your uh, CV and make a publication list document. 
Um, the same goes for conferences or talks you, you gave. When you are still a starter, I, I saw that we have uh, different, uh, uh, we have master students jo joining us today, but also a professor. So, um, but when you are still a starter at the moment and you don't have a lot of employment experience or research experience yet, then put your education experience first and um, highlight your master thesis and research, for example. How would you present yourself to a new employer? Um, to get you started, we advise you to prepare a personal pitch. Um, and with this uh, personal pitch, we mean a short convincing summary about yourself. Um, the focus needs to be on what you do, what your qualities are and what motivates you. So this pitch is like the basis for your CV, but also for your motivation letter, um, for your online presence, on platforms like Academic Transfer or LinkedIn. And you can also use it uh, during a job interview as well. So um, yeah, it's great uh, for reflection for yourself as well. Um, important tip, keep it short. <laughs> um, here you see several questions that can help you preparing your personal pitch, like what is my expertise? How, um, what do you, do I want others to remember me for? Um, what energizes me? Um, you will get these questions in the handout so you can have a look at it. Um, here you see uh, a template for a pitch. Um, as you can see, this format gives you the opportunity to give an impression of who you are as a researcher um, in only four sentences. So, Try to highlight why the employer needs to care about your activities, what is your added value, and why do you want this job. It's a great way to reflect on yourself, um, on your skills, and how you can present yourself to, to others. Here an example pitch for a scientist, which uh, might help you to define your own. Um, as we are short in time, I advise you to read it more carefully uh, later. Um, let's start with a checklist for uh, your preparation. Most of the items uh, are also requirements that most Dutch universities will ask for when applying for a job. Uh, the first one is uh, prepare your CV and personal pitch, as I told you before. Secondly, train your English language skills. Um, most research jobs in the Netherlands require English uh, skills. That's the common language. Um, uh, thirdly, it can be helpful to look for references at an early stage. So think carefully about who you can ask as your referees. Um, for example, you could uh, consider your master's supervisor or other academic teachers who marked your work. <clears throat> it could also be a, 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 a past employer, for example. Um, next, look for examples of both independent work and teamwork in your past. As a researcher, there is often a certain amount of work that you need to do alone. Um, so employers look for people that can easily work by themselves. And ex examples will help you during uh, your application. And as a researcher, you are also part of a research group and you need to collaborate as well. So think about um, example situations. As I said before, it's also helpful to write a research statement with your past, current and future uh, research activities. Um, if you bring your own funding from your home country, then you need to write your own uh, research proposal. If you find a position uh, you would like to apply uh, for, then make sure you do your homework and do research into the organization, the university, the research group, um, and check their websites. Check the website of the employer, follow their social media accounts. Uh, but I also already saw um, in your answers to the, the, the previous question that you 
uh, follow uh, the, the employer's website. So that's great to see. Um, the next one, always do exactly what is stated in the application procedure. You are already one step behind if you forgot something that was asked for. So that's uh, <clears throat> an easy one. Another tip I would like to give you is be your authentic self and brand it. Um, express, especially in the Netherlands, um, honesty and authenticity is appreciated. So make sure you are visible online on various platforms um, because this will increase your chances. Network, of course, talk to people about your future career, talk with your supervisor, with peers, try to network with people from both in and outside academia and see what makes you tick when you listen to their uh, stories. And the final one, stay motivated. We know it's not always easy and especially in an academic environment, uh, rejection and, and criticism is part of the job. Um, now you know how to get your preparation done or part of the preparation done. Uh, let's dive into the proactive way of job searching. I think most of you have a job alert on academic transfer or another job board and you get emails when there is a new job that fits your um, criteria. Um, if you find a job that fits, then you will apply. Um, but this is a very reactive way of searching for, for jobs. Um, if you want to be ahead of others, we advise you to become more proactive. <clears throat> Our CV match uh, can help you being more proactive. Um, with our CV match, uh, you can upload your CV and check which jobs match uh, best. Our CV match the, uh, scans your text and compares it with the text in the vacancies on our website. Um, this way you easily get an overview of jobs that might be interesting for you. And the best matches are shown on top. Uh, the more blue dots, the better the match. So uh, still the chances are rare that there will be a perfect match right away. Um, we know that. Um, but one of the cool things is that our CV match does not only uh, match your document with the current jobs on our website, but also with old uh, expired vacancies. And it's worthwhile to study these expired vacancies because it can give you a lot of information about which organizations, which research groups or professors are a good match for, for you. And um, it can give you an idea of people you would like to add to your network as well. <clears throat> I would like to show you this real time on our website. I hope it's, it works. Yes. <laughs> um, I have an account on Academic Transfer and I uploaded my a test CV to my account. I will show you quickly um, where I uploaded this. So this is my uh, account uh, environment. And here you see uh, documents. And there you can upload your uh, CV and uh, share it with uh, potential employers. Um, so yeah, I uploaded this so I can do a CV match regularly. Let's go back to the CV match functionality. So here you find the test CV I uploaded. And um, this is a CV of a PhD graduate in physics and chemistry. The best matches are shown on top. As you can see, the, the one from uh, the University of Amsterdam matches best with five blue dots. But this is a PhD position and the, the CV is also from a PhD graduate. So the reactive person would think this is not what I'm looking for because I already done a PhD and I'm not looking for an, another PhD position. Um, but if you click the position, I will do so. 
And if you um, read it, it gives you so much information about the research group, about um, uh, even about the professor. And if this is a field you are really passionate about, it is a good idea to write that professor about your ambition and mention that you would like to know if there is a postdoc position available, for example. Um, here you can see um, what I uh, meant. Here you can see the, the uh, professor who is leading the, the physics group. And if you click here, you will go to the employer's page and you will find the email address as well. So um, a, a vacancy that doesn't look to fit right away can give you a lot of information about an organization and, and research group. Um, let's go um, back to the, to the matches. <clears throat> I will. I want to show you the expired jobs um, that match, because there you have a postdoc position. Um, it's expired, but uh, Nick have had an, a postdoc position in physics um, with five blue dots, and also in this vacancy, you see which a professor. Um, is responsible for uh, this uh, research topic, even with the email address. So, um, and NICHEF is the, the National Institute for Physics in the Netherlands. So if you are really into uh, physics, now you know that you have to follow this organization for future positions and, and you can send in an open application. Um, so this is, how our CV match tool can be used. I will go back. So sometimes while using our CV match tool, you might think there are no vacancies for me, uh, but we advise you to dive into it a bit deeper and use it to get information and to get proactive. Follow these four steps to increase your chances of finding a job. So upload your resume, uh, study the best matching vacancies, and don't forget the expired ones. Um, and if you find expired jobs that are of your interest, um, look if you can find details from uh, the, the professor or Google this specific university faculty research group and check which professor is the principal investigator. On the university's website, you always have a section where you can find the email address of the professors working there. So it's quite common in the Netherlands to write an open application. Write the professor why you are so interested in the topic, what your research ambitions are and how you could contribute. Um, if there's no open vacancy at the time, but they think you have a good profile, they will definitely keep you in mind when there are new positions available. Um, it's time for a question again. So let's go to menti.com uh, and please answer the next question. So menti.com. Um, and the code 902570008. What do you think of this proactive way of job searching? <clears throat> and, and about uh, the CV match tool, what is your first impression? Um, <laughs> great, useful. <laughs> Very helpful to dig deep in the field. Yeah, because I can imagine that it feels a bit scary as well to uh, send in open applications. But um, I think if you are passionate, passionate about a topic, a research field, you have to be passionate about um, the topic because you will dive into it uh, 
very deeply um, if you are looking for an academic career. So, um, yeah, then you have to go for it and just show everyone what you would like to do. <laughs> new to me great <laughs> can be frustrating as well yeah we are still developing the these uh, uh this uh, cv match tool as well so it's good to know that it's um that is a new functionality and um we love to hear your feedback as well so you can always uh, email us uh, if you have done uh, the matching let's let's continue Our third topic, topic, how to be found by employers. Um, I don't know if you know, but um, professors and recruiters are searching for candidates in our database. So you can create a personal account on academictransfer.com and make it available to employers so they can spot you for new positions. So this is also a new functionality and I don't know if you already have an account, but please sign up. Um, I will show you what you can do with it. Um, in your account, you can fill in your personal profile, like your academic discipline, a research statement, your current and desired position or employer, and your profile gives employers an idea of who you are as a researcher. And uh, the more information you give, the better you can be matched to employers. So do you want to be found? Complete your profile and make sure you click the available to employers box. Um, only if you click this checkbox, um, you can be found by relevant employers. Um, you can always undo the checkbox. Um, you can make your profile unava unavailable at any time, um, but it's good to mention uh, as well that we definitely won't sell your details to third parties uh, or something like that. Um, let's show this real time as well. I see we are short on time. I hope you, uh, you stay for a bit. <laughs> um, I hope, yes, you can see this is my um, uh, profile. As you can see, I filled in some uh, fields and I uploaded uh, the test CV as well. Um, so here are the fields you can fill, fill in and then below you have the view profile button and this is what recruiters and professors see when they look for uh, researchers in our database. Um, so if you uploaded a picture, they can see it, but also your email address, your LinkedIn page, your research statement, um, your research details, your current and desired situation, and above in the right, they can download your uh, CV, only if you made it available as well. Um, so, if you would like to be found by, by recruiters from Dutch uni universities or research institutes, we advise you to create an account. Let's go back. Which other benefits do you have with your account? Uh, let me quickly summarize this uh, for you. You can save your CV to use the CV match regularly, as I uh, said before. Um, so you don't have to upload it every time you use it. Um, you can be found by your uh, favorite employer. Uh, this is what I just uh, showed you. And you can save your favorite jobs into your account. Uh, you can manage your email alerts, um, apply quickly by uploading your documents. And you stand out with your personal profile. I really hope that our CV match and account functionalities will help you in finding uh, your job. Now I would like to inform you about an opportunity to meet Dutch professors and recruiters. Um, because Saturday the 1st of October, we will organize the Netherlands Recruitment Day. And this is an online career fair where you can get all information you need about working in research in the Netherlands. 
several Dutch universities, research institutes, but also industry companies will present themselves and they would like to get in touch with uh, talented researchers. And one of the great things is that you have the chance to be invited to a an, uh, one-on-one -on -one interview with a professor or recruiter. So how does it work? It's a recruitment day for academics worldwide with an interest in working in the Netherlands. Um, at the online career fair, you get a lot of information about the participating organizations. And if you register, which is free, by the way, that's good to mention as well, um, Dutch professors and recruiters will study your CV and profile, and they decide if they would like to meet you during uh, the event. Um, so don't miss out on this opportunity and go to the website link and find out how to, to register. There are a few requirements to join uh, the event. So you need to register with an account. In your account, you need to upload an up-to-date English uh, CV. And in your profile, you need to write a short research statement. So um, and it's also important that you have a master's degree or soon obtaining uh, one because the recruitment day is for PhD positions and more senior positions. So it's not a student fair for master programs. Um, you also need to have a good level of English because English is the common language when doing research in the Netherlands. Um, most uh, Dutch universities require a TOEFL score of 80 or higher and IELTS for, uh, with 6.5 and higher. So it's important to have uh, your, your English skills. After your registration, uh, the participating professors and recruiters might invite you to a personal interview on October 1st. I'm going to the final part of this uh, webinar. So, so far we talked about how to find jobs and meet professors, uh, but maybe you don't feel ready yet to look for jobs or you don't know exactly what you are looking for. Um, you are more in the orienting phase and exploring your career possibilities. Uh, our three career services can help you if you are still exploring your options in the Netherlands. I will quickly give you some information about it. One of the career tools we offer is the Career Navigator. As you know, an academic career is only for a few. There are more PhD graduates than professors. So um, with the Career Navigator, you can explore career possibilities in six different sectors. Of course, within academia, but also at universities of applied sciences, in industry, not-for-profits, startups, and uh, governmental institutions. Um, we only focus on career opportunities that include a research aspect, so where you can continue doing research to a greater or lesser extent. Um, you can see and use this uh, tool as a subway map with different uh, journeys and stations uh, to choose during your career. And when you click on the different positions, um, information will appear. So you can read facts and figures about a job um, with important tasks, skills you need, salary indications. Um, but you can also view videos from experts in that sector with tips on how to get a specific job. And we share uh, testimonials from others who actually took that career step within a certain sector. So they will share their personal experiences, um, the challenges they faced and, and tips and tricks. And already quite some of the, the stations in, the, in, the, in this map uh, are filled with uh, content and we keep developing uh, this navigator, keep adding more and more content. So uh, we provide you with relevant information for all different career paths. The second tool we offer is the Career Reflector. Um, this is a validated self-assessment, especially aimed at employer um, So 
to discover your potential and reflect on your uh, skills and talents. Um, the test is free to use with your academic transfer account. Um, with this test, you can reflect on yourself um, while choosing statements that, that fit, fit you best. So it will show you who you are as an employee and what your potential is. After finishing uh, the assessment, you receive a report with the results. And this will show you, for example, your uh, preferred approach to developing and sharing knowledge um, or to relationships and working with others. And the results will show you both uh, the, the positive aspects and pitfalls of your preferred approaches. And with this report, you can do a gap analysis. So to discover if you have the required skills to make a career move, or if you need to train certain skills, for example. Um, we hope that this uh, report can also be of use while preparing for an application, as it can give you uh, new insights or uh, affirm your self uh, reflection. And the final, the third uh, career tool I would like to uh, tell you about is the Career Buddy. Uh, this is a very practical tool in which you can find, uh, carry out and administrate all of your career actions. So um, the Career Buddy will literally guide you through some uh, preparation activities, like expanding your network, professionalizing your CV, uh, preparing your uh, personal pitch, and organizing uh, meetings. So this tool can be of extra help to actually do specific acti activities. It's like uh, the homework uh, tool. Here you can see a quick um, summarizing. We, we hope our tools will help you plan your uh, career. Um, let me ask you about your first impression on the career services. Uh, let's switch to, to Mentimeter. I hope you, you are still there. I see I'm running out of time, but we are almost at the end of the webinar. Um, go to uh, menti.com. Which tool appeals the most to you? Let me know your uh, thoughts. Is it the navigator to explore career paths? Is it the, the self-assessment uh, for self-reflection? Or is it uh, the career buddy to, to prepare for the next step? I see some answers are coming in. The reflector is most popular right now. I hope everyone uh, is able to, to join us in, uh, in menti.com. Yeah, great, uh, great to see your uh, answers. I will quickly go uh, further as we don't have a lot of time. Uh, Amy. I would like to end this webinar with some final tips. Uh, they might seem quite obvious, but still worth uh, mentioning. First, start preparing on time, but you are here, so that's, uh, that's great. Um, knowing and discovering what you would like to do is that simply takes time. And the earlier you start exploring your options, the earlier you will find that job. The second tip is talk to people about your future career. Talk with your supervisor, with peers, um, with uh, meetup groups. Uh, try to network with people from uh, different sectors and be curious. Um, also, if you are uh, a master student or if you are already working at a university, um, get in touch with the career office of your organization. So um, of, often they have career days to explore your possibilities, uh, but they also offer training or coaching uh, sessions. And it's also good to think about your own skill set. What skills have you trained during your past position? So how would you pitch yourself to a new employer? Here we uh, again, have the personal pitch. <laughs> um, when you have a better idea on what you want, you can easier start preparing uh, for it. So to conclude, when looking for a job, prepare for your next career step and sign up for free at academictransfer.com if you 
haven't done uh, so, um, also check our website for the worldwide academic recruitment event I mentioned earlier, which we organize on October 1st. Of course, also give the career services a try to orientate yourself and to discover who you are as an employee. And finally, also visit factcards.nl to find relevant information about coming to the Netherlands if you are uh, positioned abroad at the moment um, and would like to know more about uh, research uh, and living in the Netherlands. I have one final Mentimeter question for you. What are your takeaways of this webinar? Is there anything you would like to share? Uh, maybe you have a tip or a final word for uh, the other participants. So the final question is, what are your takeaways? Please let me know if you are still there. <laughs> or are there things you, you uh, will do right away tomorrow when uh, after this webinar? Thanks for the compliment. <laughs> I don't know if you are still typing or not. I will leave the question open. So if you um, still would like to share the, your takeaways, then uh, please do so. That will be it. Uh, we have come to the end of this uh, presentation. Please let me know if you, I, I see a lot of questions are coming in in the chat. I forgot to mention that I have two colleagues who are answering uh, the chat for me. If we aren't able to answer your question right away, um, I think we will uh, answer it by, by email uh, later. So uh, please leave your details in the chat if you would like us to uh, get back to you uh, personally. Um, I hope that the information and tips uh, from this webinar will, will help you. Um, a final tip would be to step outside your comfort zone and uh, challenge yourself. Uh, thank you for your attention and uh, all the best in your next career uh, step. We will leave the chat open to, to answer your questions. Uh, and otherwise, we will get back to you. Thanks a lot and bye bye.